Hello, my name is Kyle Sherline. I'll be doing your video walkthrough on your Airstream today. First and foremost, we're going to start off with the coupler assembly. That'd be the open position. This is the easy latch system, so it will automatically latch down. When you pull forward, if you forget to do so, you can put in a pin if you order it from Demco, or the manufacturer of that. You got a light for the, the coupler assembly here and the tongue jack. Right here is our LP tanks. Right there. These are your tanks. They are specific to the trailer. Do not swap or exchange these tanks because that will void the warranty of the propane system on the trailer. Right here is where we keep the batteries. I can get it. Two AGM dry cell batteries. These are non-maintenance batteries, but we do recommend that you never let them die because when they do die is when they tend to fail and they are expensive batteries, so don't let that happen. And in here, this is your front compartment. We have the redistribution hitch in there for you. There's also a courtesy light down in here for your convenience. You come around the front. This is our Zip D awning. This is a very robust awning, manual style. This is our hot water heater on demand. Right there's a fuse in case something happens. The on and off switch for that. But the main controls are on the inside. Here on the back, this is our wet storage bin area. You can put hoses, your power cord, stuff that you don't mind being in the elements. It's our dry storage area. This is where we have the power cord right now. Coming around to this side, we have our dump station, holding tank, dump main, and holding tank auxiliary. Auxiliary is going to be sink and shower and main is going to be the toilet and there is a courtesy light down here as well this is our city water connection which this connection is um, pressure regulated at 50 psi behind this port so you don't have to worry about blowing your lines off from the inside this is your black water tank flush this is a sprinkler within the black tank to clean it out after you've dumped Right here is our power port. This is where the cord goes into. This is the fresh water connection port behind here. This is where you put your hose in there to supply fresh water to your camper for your holding tank. I think it's 30 gallons on this. This is your furnace intake and exhaust. Don't set anything in front of here, it will melt. This is your sewer hose storage bin there. Stabilizer jacks in four corners. They are manual. Back into the front window area here, and then we're going to head inside.